developmental dysplasia of the hip. That's also called the other way you refer to it is congenital dislocation. So baby, developmental dysplasia of the hip. If they are around six years old and have an issue with the hip, that is leg perthes disease. So about six years old, that's leg perthes disease. Both of these congenital dysplasia of the hip and leg perthes are generally speaking treated non-operatively. But now you get to the teenager, 13 years old. So remember, we spoke about the baby, the six-year-old, now we're at the 13-year-old. And when they have a hip problem, that is a slipped capital femoral epiphysis. A slipped capital femoral epiphysis. And that, my young colleagues, needs surgery. So that needs surgery. Sometimes kids will get a septic joint and sometimes they'll get a septic hip, an infected hip. And you'll say, how can a little baby get an infected hip? And sometimes they get these infected joints as an infected hip, a septic hip, after having the flu. And obviously in adults, that's not common at all, but in kids, for some reason, they can do this. So if you have a child who has a septic hip, and you will know that by clinically, they will be febrile, they won't move their hip, they will look sick, they will have a leukocytosis, and a CAT scan will definitively show this, you have to drain this, you have to drain this. And some of you may Painless. And the same way, what if a child has persistent pain in a bone? Persistent pain in a bone. No trauma, but persistent pain in a bone. Well, you have to worry about osteomyelitis. Again, you're thinking, well, osteomyelitis usually occurs in with open wounds or trauma or this or that. How does a child get spontaneous osteomyelitis? Well, we're not. And if you want to win the Nobel Prize, you can figure it out. But when they have osteomyelitis, the test question and life, which is the best test imaging study for osteomyelitis, the best test imaging study for osteomyelitis is MRI. The second best test is bone scan. The worst test is a plain film. Now, all of you young colleagues always ask me, well, the second best, we said the first best is MRI, the second best is bone scan, the thir third best, which is worse, is plain film. So a lot of times you ask, why isn't the second best to CAT scan? And let me explain why. Good question. Some small hospitals do not have MRIs, but usually these same small hospitals have nuclear medicine departments so they can do scans, meaning they can make the diagnosis of osteomyelitis without having to send the kid or the adult out to another hospital. That's why. That's why instead of you'd say, well, why'd you just get a CAT scan as a second test? So number one, MRI. Number two, bone scan. And worst one, plain film. All right. Now, let's say we have a 14 years old, 15 years old, and they are playing football and they have pain over the tibia tuberosity. Now, you know where that is. If you feel below your patella, your kneecap, you feel that bump, that is the tibial tuberosity. And teenagers, especially when they're athletes, will get an inflammation of that tibial tuberosity, which is called Osgood-Schlatter 
disease, Osgood Schlatter disease. And that is treated not operatively with conservative measures and it goes away. Finally, we have a child that's born with kyphoscoliosis, a bent spine. Years and years ago, we used to, oh, treat these with braces. And we, we weren't terribly aggressive, but that has changed dramatically. Why? Now, I know you are young and you may not see patients like I've seen patients in their older age who have had scoliosis not treated well. And the test question and life question is, in addition to their orthopedic problem, meaning they're bent over or curved, what organ system is affected with poorly treated or untreated kyphoscoliosis? Yes, respiratory, your lungs, your, their respiratory system is compromised. So the bottom line for the test and for life is you treat kyphoscoliosis early, 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 whether that be operative or non-operative, you don't sit on it. You treat it early. 